All right, welcome back. Week 15 here. Uh, today we're going to do a little something different. Uh, we're going to get in. I uh, bought a marking pen. So we're going to jump in, see if we can find queens in each of these hives and mark them. Uh, my primary purpose in doing this is I want to do a mite check. Um, so we're going to get in, we're going to look for some Varroa mites. And how we do that is with an alcohol wash. Um, so we're going to get a, about a half a cup of bees, throw them in a, a quick alcohol wash. And that is uh, what I'm understanding the most humane way of, uh, you know, killing these bees instantly. Um, and then getting a, a very accurate and quick check of what the mite population is inside of there. So hopefully what we'll see is under 3%. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and treat probably um, the far hive. So they've had a laying queen all season. So what I'm understanding is that the Varroa mites actually reproduce inside of capped um, broods, so capped cells there. Um, so because that's had um, a, a lot of time this summer to, to kind of continue to grow, I'm expecting that we're probably going to find some, uh, some mites in there. Uh, not really a whole lot in this front hive here because we haven't had a queen in there. So um, that's, a, I guess, what would be like a natural kind of um, treatment plan is just a, a, a cycle in that brood break there. Um, and, and that allows, uh, well, I guess it doesn't allow for the, um, the mite to continue to reproduce there. So we're just going to do a quick check in both of those after we find the queen. Um, honestly, I've only found the queen once in like uh, something like, 10 times I've been in these hives. So um, it's gonna be a long one out here today, I assume, but I've done some research on how to find the queen. We'll see if that actually happens or not. Uh, so with that, I'm gonna dive in and, and kind of uh, see what happens. So here we go. So I thought I'd start out today by saying that last week I was actually um, wrong on a, a few different things. So um, cap brew doesn't um, the bees don't actually cap the brood until uh, what I was reading was day nine um, of after the egg has hatched. Um, <clears throat> so we saw um, capped brood last week, which means that uh, basically timing just doesn't align for our OTS method to yield a queen bee. Uh, so there was actually a bee um, in here in attempt number three, I'm guessing, um, uh, queen bee and after attempt number three it just wasn't laying eggs when we were in here yet so um, I, I imagine it's been in there for about a month now um, so that's why we saw some cat brood and, and basically all stages of that throughout that bottom box there um, so with that I'm just gonna go ahead and dive in I just wanted to kind of set that expectation uh, real quick up front um, and just that I was wrong last week so um, kind of starting to, to learn a little bit more as we we run through this uh, but you know, maybe next time I'll be able to do that math in my head on the fly there. So for this first hive, because we haven't had a queen all summer, I'm not going to risk it. Um, I think that we're probably okay for the most part just because we have had that big break in brood. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this next hive up check it out and kind of see what we've got going on there. All right, so it appears I am uh, not very good at this spot the queen game. Uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, just pull a, a frame um, that, that's got a good mixture of everything there. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and dump it in that bucket. So let's go ahead and try this out and see how it works. We'll look for some mites. I'm going to grab a frame with open brood, open eggs, um, larva. What I understand is that's where the mites like to hang out. So I'm going to shake some off into this bucket here. And then I'm going to go ahead. I've got a, a half cup measuring cup. I'm going to scoop up those bees and throw them into the alcohol wash. Uh, I'll do a quick shake. Like I said, I don't expect to find too many mites, if any at all. Um, it's uh, 300 bees, and what I'm understanding is that gives a pretty good statistical average of how many mites you'll have. So I'm um, going to check. Uh, I think the, the rule of thumb right now in late August is under 3%. So we'll take a look um, and see what we come up with. All right, I just wanted to do one last quick spot check. I'm going to go ahead and knock these bees off. Sit this frame aside and we'll uh, get this alcohol wash started.
so on this, there's a screen right there. Um, I guess I understand it's like a, a number eight screen there. Um, big enough for the mites, but too big for the, or I guess big enough for the bees to stop them, but not big enough for the mites. So just go ahead and shake these up. Um, now what I understand is that the, the mites themselves hang around the, the brood chamber because they like to get inside of the, um, the wax cappings there. So they hang around the bees, they kind of attach to their body. So uh, one thing you'll hear a lot is it's a, a little bug on a big bug. So you got to kill the big bugs. In turn, also killing the little bugs, they hold on to the bees. Um, so you, you kill them, kind of give them a, a swirl there. Um, shake them up and then with any luck uh, you'll be able to get them out on the other side if there are any so we're, we're gonna find out here so you can see I've got a sample size of 300 bees and that's uh, what I've read is pretty much statistically accurate of what you're gonna find throughout the rest of the hive um, and what I'm seeing in here I'm shaking it for about four or five minutes done it a few different times um, it's just one mite Let's see if you can see that uh, the little red spot right near the center of the bottom of the bottle right now, uh, kind of floating downward, that's called a varroa mite. So uh, just want to make sure that we're kind of keeping an eye on these. They bring disease and uh, really, I guess, affect hives. So uh, based on what I'm seeing, this is good. Uh, this is really good. Um, so three would be a 1%, so you're at less than a 1% uh, infection rate. About a 0.33%, a uh, I would say, infection rate uh, of those, uh, those Varroa mites. So that's really good. Uh, happy with that. We're going to go ahead and treat um, and just do a half dose. So we're not going to do a full dose. Uh, I know that if my back hive, who's been doing brood all summer, looks like that, then the front hive, who hasn't really had any brood at all, it's looking good. Uh, that mite reproduces in the brood nest, and since we haven't had any, don't have to really worry about it from that side. So I'm, I'm pleasantly, I'm pleased with this. Uh, very, very pleased. So we'll go ahead and um, throw a half dose in that back hive, uh, button it back up, and we'll call it a day out here. So here we go. And with that, we'll wrap up, I guess, what we'll call week 15 here. Um, so I was looking for a queen in both of these hives. I had my marker. was super excited to kind of mark these queens and uh, be able to find them. Looked for almost two hours, came up with nothing. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, still just showing signs of good, good laying queens right now. So we'll just have to take that um, as a win. I, I did end up doing an alcohol wash on about 300 bees um, in this hive. Uh, found one varroa mite, so that's really good. Less than a 1%, I mean even less than a half percent infection rate of varroa mites inside of here. Um, so I think what I've been reading is about 3% we should be concerned. Um, I did end up doing a half treatment in here just to keep the population down as we're starting to develop these winter bees. Uh, the winter bees are what's going to take us through the winter and they need to live about six months or so. Uh, so we need to make sure we've got healthy bees going into winter. I don't want to have to buy any more bees. I want to make sure both these hives make it through. Uh, and we know that if this hive has one varroa mite, then there's probably a better chance that this has even less. Um, so we'll just take this as a win for now. Um, hope we didn't kill a queen in that alcohol wash. Um, and if we did, I guess we'll know the next time we come out here because we'll see some queen cells. Uh, they'll sense that the pheromone is gone and they'll start to make another queen inside of here. So we'll see. Really have no idea at this point. Um, we'll just kind of um, take it a day at a time here. So um, we'll wrap up week 15 with that. Thanks for tuning in.